-hmm. At any time that there's extreme weather, a lot of support is needed for people outside, people experiencing homelessness in our area. Yeah, absolutely. And I spoke with a woman who lived in an encampment about how one local shelter is helping her. I go to sleep crying oh, that's a lot okay. of times. At 75 years old, now. Olga Navarro is homeless. I couldn't afford my rent. They raised it. I didn't know what to do. With nowhere to go, she ended up on the streets. I'd never been homeless before. I never thought I would be. She's lived in encampments since February. Waking up with no shoes, everything taken. I had a suitcase full of clothes and I had pictures of my grandkids. I, I cannot replace. The city of Tucson says from when they launched their reporting website in late October of last year to mid-July this year, they've gotten over 6,000 reports of encampments. Over half of those, they say, come from people reporting the same one, and over 30% of the reports are not an encampment, giving housing options to people living in them. But Navarro says the city never gave her any. A few weeks ago, someone told Navarro about Sister Jose Women's Center. So after so many months of being homeless in the encampment, what was it that made you come here to Sister Jose's? I think I was afraid to be turned down because a lot of people look down at the homeless. Sister Jose Women's Center says in April they had over 1,110 overnight stays and dinners. In May, that number grew to over 1,170, and in June, almost 1,200. For Navarro, the center is more than just an overnight stay. I used to have everything, but I'll have it again. I have it now. Reporting on East 22nd Street and South Park Avenue in Tucson, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9.